Hey, welcome back to another update. My monthly update in the fish room. A lot of things have changed. More babies, new fish. So I'll go around and show you. In the first tank, I still have my electric blue cara, but I added a breeding group of bristlenose plecos, the albino ones. They're always hiding, but there's about six or seven of them in there. I just got them the other day. So hopefully we'll get a little bit of breeding action out of them. Still got the five, electric blue cara. Nothing going on yet. <clears throat> we'll go over here. I got my albino grubenzas, and again, they have spawn, and they have a whole bunch of babies. I think the last time I videotaped, they had babies before, but I pulled those out, and then not even about a week later, they already had wigglers. So they just keep breeding. I still have my electric blue rams. Not doing much yet. Well, I've been trying to lower the pH, but slowly and slowly bringing it back down. My water's hard, so I really have to bring it down for them. And then I have, used to be one of my pairs of German blue rams, but I recently just lost my female. Not sure why. I got a pleco in here as well. It's getting bigger though each day. <clears throat> and then my electric, or no, my, excuse me, my golden rams. And they've been doing well. Females getting nice and plump, so I'm expecting them to start breeding one of these days now. And then, yes, I have a whole bunch of algae problems in all these tanks. And then this was my other pair of German blue ram. This is a male, and like the last one, I lost the female. I have no idea why, but unfortunately that's the case. And then I have my jewel cichlids. And same as the rest of them, I keep losing females. They keep breeding, and then all of a sudden I lose a female. So he's got a bunch of babies with him. But unfortunately, keep losing them. And to come up here, I got my strawberry peacocks, and they just keep breeding, 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 breeding. This is the male, getting bigger and bigger by the day. And you can see I have a few holding. So that's one, and where's the other one? Oh, right beside him. So I got two holding in here. I got the other two females. This one actually just bred the other day, but not even one day of holding, she's already ate them. So I don't know what her deal is, but Beautiful fish. We'll come down here. I just have an OB peacock. And of course he's now hiding. There he is. Beautiful fish, just him by himself. Just been growing him out. Gonna sell him. But he's in here with a bristle nose breeding group. Just the normal ones. And of course they like to hide as well, but they're inside there or probably on the wood. But no breeding out of them yet. I got them the same time as the albinos. And here are some babies of my strawberry peacock. So there's about 40 of them here. They're doing really well. They've only been in here for about a month. And they're starting to put on a little bit of size, which is real nice. And if I go up here, I have my albino Arica Reds. So I have a stunning male in here. Sorry for the glare. Let's see if I can get him to come out. Beautiful male though. In here with four females. They bred once, but like the others, they've ate them. But I'm not too worried about it. I just got them, I've had them for about a month now, just before that last video came out. If he comes out, I'll come back and show you, but he's a stunning male with his females. Down below, I still have my Crebenza, slowly selling them all off. I had about 54 
last month or the month before that and I think I'm down to about 18 so they keep breeding in here but unfortunately there's so many of them that the babies get eaten but real nice fish you can see I got a few really nice males a lot of nice females that are ready to hold or ready to lay excuse me but I got no no use for them I got so many crebenzas in here albinos the normal ones and this is the rack of babies so these are my first ever babies these are my strawberries so these are the oldest of them sorry for the dirty tank I don't I like them to graze off stuff so these are the oldest ones so they're about a week older than the ones over there but nevertheless the pistogramma I still got one left slowly been selling them off so this is the last one I believe it's a female but we'll see if anyone wants them and this is more fry of the strawberries this was my last batch and like the others they're starting to get pretty big as well hoping for a lot of nice males since I got about 80 of these babies and these are my albino Trebenzas from the first batch. I think I got about 14 of them here. They're starting to put on a little bit of size. Eating really well. So we'll just continue feeding them well and hopefully they'll uh, grow pretty fast. Right below it, I have my black rams. So I went out to about Toronto area and got these. So I got four. Looks to be about two males, two females. Oops, and now he swims off. But they're stunning fish. Real aggressive. So if you ever have black rams or the midnight rams, just know that they are aggressive. A lot more aggressive than your German blue ram or your golden ram or electric blue. So I have all four at the moment. These guys are small, so you can see there, I still gotta grow them out. But stunning fish. So if I can grow them out and keep all four of them and start breeding them, I'd be very pleased. And now I got two more 20 gallons. Just have some random fish in there. I have a smut, a real nice pair of Trubenzas. Just a young couple. Just been getting some breeding action out of them. I just needed to kind of cycle these two tanks, so I just threw some random fish in them. And then I have a jewel cichlid another one I'm not sure if it's a male or a female but maybe it's a male or maybe it's a female and I can put it with the other one after and then I just have some group benzos. just trying to cycle both these tanks before I put something that I want inside it but that's the fish room 19 tanks slowly just breeding getting better out of each day but Thanks for watching and hopefully I got some new stuff next month.